Hi everybody, this week's lesson is going to be the next step. So if you have not already made an AAB form or an AB song, and this looks a little overwhelming, it might be because you need to go back to the lesson about passing tones, which are notes that are not in the chord, a lesson about chord progression first. So that's the first thing we did was put our one, four, and five chords starting and ending with a one chord. So you're going to need to see those uh, videos and put in your chordal progression, then come back and write your little melody. And then we talked about form, where we have another chord progression of um, the one, fours, and fives, again, ending on one, and a different melody that went with it. And it's okay if you didn't put the repeats in and you just have a simple four measure A, a four measure B, and that's it. And then last week we added the bass line in. So if you haven't done those lessons, don't try to just catch up by copying this. Go back and watch those lessons because none of this is difficult. Um, but seeing it all together makes it look really fancy and like, you know, too much to do. So one step at a time. Start with your chord progression, then put your melody in. Careful to keep all of the notes that are not in the chord a passing tone. Eighth notes or left with a chord tone in front and behind. So last week we added a bass line, and if you put all the notes up and down, basses are very boring instruments sometimes. They just play the bottom note of the chord, so the bottom note in this chord is an F. So I just had the F play for two half notes. And down here, this looks fancy, but it's all G, right? There's the five chord with the G on the bottom. So I just used a G, but I played with the long and short um, durations. I, I played with the rhythm, and that made it a little bit interesting. This week, we're going to add a decoration instrument. And I'm going to be a little picky about this and say that you should add a part by hitting the guitar and make it the violin. Um, you can do a lead guitar if you want, but we can't just pick any instrument because then we'll run into the need for a lesson on transposition and instruments and I'd prefer not to do that right now. So we're going to keep it really simple. With this little violin decoration instrument, we're going to look at the chord tones again. And you can use passing tones the way that you did in the melody, but if we're keeping it simple, let's try to just stick to the C, E, or G that I would have my violin play. So remembering that this is now in treble clef, I'm going to start in a C, and then I'm going to have it go up to a G. I'm going to make this guy a half note. And then I'm going to go light this guy up. We haven't used this tool yet. A tie. I'm telling the software that I want to tie this note to the next note. So I click on it, and that's what I have. Sorry about the cuckoo clock. And the birds and the puppies, too. <laughs> okay, so now let's see what this sounds like with this little decoration instrument in it, playing only notes that are in the chord. Not bad. And I don't have to put something in every measure. The instruments take turns. That's what makes the music interesting itself. So if I have F, A, and C in this chord, and I leave this blank, and I'm in treble clef, so every good boy deserves fudge again, I'm going to come over here and put in basically the same thing except the opposite. Does that make sense? I'm going to use an F and a C an F and a C, and I'm going to do the same thing I did, change that to a half note, have this guy be tied, and now let's listen to the whole thing. And that's it. You can get fancier if you want, but I would like you to just add a violin or a lead guitar in treble clef. Don't forget the letters are back to every good boy deserves fudge and face. Stick with the notes that are in our chord and see if you can put a little bit of decoration. Don't play every single note. Don't play every single measure. Make the note hold out for a long time. Use your tie if you want to. But keep it nice and simple. 
And if you decide to get fancy and put a lot of notes up and down all over the place in here, watch out. Any note that's not in this chord is a passing tone. And so now you're going to have to worry about the rule of keep it an eighth note or less with a chord tone before it and after it. Hope you're all doing it well, everybody, and I hope this helps. Till next time, bye.